Hey, I'm Sal at Deco Ranch, and with me today is Ninja. Hi. Thanks for coming by, Ninja. Thank you for inviting me. And we're also bringing you the ambiance of the ranch behind us and some of the paint horses as they eat. It's been raining. <laughs> we have been moving this around <laughs> yeah. just to get it where you could get a good view of these bikes. So as long as Mother Nature cooperates, we're good. We're good on this one. I think one. we're good. This is about comparing, and this is the first impression, Ninja has never seen the Honda Rebel 1100, the new 2021 Honda Rebel 1100. CB something. DCT. DCT. Yep. Comparing it to 2020 Honda Rebel 500 with ABS, same as the 2021, so. So it'll be the same. It'll be the same. So this is your first time ever seeing this bike? Right. What do you think? First impression, when I walked in, it's you, bigger. It's bigger. Do you notice that? Yeah, I do. It's, it's a little bit thicker on the side. It's almost like the size of a, the uh, Falcon, huh? Oh my gosh. It's, yes, it, it that's is, what right? I was like, thinking, yeah, but the, I don't want to put any words the in width, your mouth. Yeah, the thick of yes. it. Yes. The shape of the... I'm not sure if the seat also shaped more like the Falcon. I'm not sure. You know, it's a, yeah, it's rounder. It's from the back, and we'll, yeah. we'll show you pictures of these. Mm -hmm. And this is a thicker seat than the 500. Yeah. As well. But we, okay, now since you mentioned the Vulcan, mm -hmm. the Vulcan S 650, this reminded me in thickness, in the size, everything yeah. about it reminded me of the Vulcan a lot. Yeah. So, so this is a DCT. They okay. make both a DCT and a manual this year. The DCTs came out first. What does the DCT stand for? Dual clutch transmission. Ah, okay. All and right. It's, and it's clutchless in essence. No clutch, no friction zone, no shifting. All you have is your brake and throttle side. The little details that they did at the 1100 um, thing on, over here. See that one? This 1100. Yeah. It's still streamlined, but more muscular because you have that little yeah, hump this a little is, bit on the, the front. The 500 has a true peanut mm -hmm. tank. And this is more like the Vulcan S. How about the Kawasaki the, Vulcan is it the S650? It's more capacity like Capacity is more? The, yes, okay. yes. Uh, the Honda 500, the Rebel 500 is 2.96 gallons. So just under three gallons. This is the 1100 bike is uh, 3.6 gallons. How about the put that in liters as well. How about the mileage? Oh, oh big, big difference. I think that they say on the Rebel 500, I believe the specs tell you it's something like 64 miles per gallon. Okay. Maybe maybe you get 64 if you're, you know. Highway. Constant highway, probably. Or just easy on it. Right. Baby it along with the wind at your back. <laughs> the 1100 is supposed to be at, I believe, 41 miles per gallon. Okay. So it takes a big drop, but. but bigger engine. It's, yeah, it's more than twice the engine. Okay. Headlights, the same. Needs help. <laughs> Needs help. Yeah. 2020, this, the Honda Rebel 500 2020, that's the first year that they came out with the LED headlights, and they're, they're both LED front and rear. Uh, I've tested them, they suck. They're very bright, mm -hmm. but they just go in this triangular pattern, like this, out in front of you. You can't see what's alongside of you, and you can't see way past you, you just see this bright little triangle in front of you. Okay, let's mm -hmm. turn it let's turn it on. By the way, key, the key is way down on the side, so oh, from yeah. your angle on the other side it's like here. Mm -hmm. Where the five hundred would be here on the other side, the eleven hundred's like here. Oh it's different, huh? Yes. It's bigger, it's wide. So yeah. the Honda Rebel eleven hundred has a beautiful digital display. Oh, I like this. Is it cruise control, huh? There's cruise yes. control? Yes, this bike has cruise control. Yep, the Rebel 1100. What is this? So that's drive. And up above is neutral. And what is this? Oh! Automatic. Ah, automatic versus manual. Oh. Oh, I see. See, I'm learning about this bike so at the do same you time. Have, do you have to press the drive every time you, or is it automatically is drive like cars, like turn it on and You have drive? to push the button. It is a oh, push button bike. You must push the drive button 
and it will not go into drive if it's in if the kickstand's down. So just know that. This bike, yeah. the Rebel 1100, also has a parking brake because you have oh. drive and neutral, and you have no clutch. You do have a parking brake now to get the so it's on park. It, mm -hmm. The parking brake is on right now. So when you lift it, you have to lift and push in to release it, just like you would in a car. Okay. You have to lift that parking brake just a little bit, push that button in to release it, which is kind of cool. And the gear shifter, I think it's right here. That's Less your paddle my... shifter. Yeah. If you're doing automatic, of course, it does all the shifting for you. If you're doing, mm -hmm. if you're doing manual, mm -hmm. then you use that little paddle shifter mm -hmm. and you shift when you're ready to shift. Yeah. That's the 1100. The DCT. Mm -hmm. The manual, I'm, I'm sure, is like any other manual, but the DCT is a little bit different because of no clutch. Yeah. So it does give you that option where you can push that paddle yeah. and shift it yourself. And come around here. It is behind. This is a view of the dash of the 1100 with the 500 in front of it. Okay, so the display, we went over the display on the 1100. Let's talk about the comparison to the display on the 500. I feel bad doing this. No, I think I think it's just, it's, this one is a little bit more basic, a little bit more standard. A little you bit have more clutch. basic? It's a lot more basic. It's very traditional. Yes. Motorcycle, and, left and, clutch and everything. So. And the the 500, turn that off. Mm -hmm. And the Rebel 500, what it does, it, it does nicely. Everything about it, it is nice. All right. There's nothing lousy about the bike. It's just mm -hmm. a good all-around bike. Mm -hmm. it, it works hard. It always tries. So I, I don't have any complaints about this bike. This is like the Mary Poppins of bikes. It's practically perfect yeah. in its own way. Yeah. In its own way. Yeah. So, I think the size also, this is slightly smaller. So I think it might fit people that have smaller. Actually, I'm glad you brought that up. This is a 27.2 inch seat. This is oh. a 27.5 inch seat. Okay. And it's wider like the Vulcan. And mm -hmm. you mentioned that this seat is, is much wider, but these bikes, these two bikes are still both geared towards the same size rider. Okay. Not too tall. You can have short all the way up to about 5'10 or so. And then, and if they have long legs, then uh, they may feel a little cramped. And some six footers love the Rebels. So it's not everybody that's going to feel cramped. It's just some will. How about the weight? This, obviously, this one's much heavier. In fact, Compared to the ABS, when you start looking at the weight of the bikes, mm -hmm. this with the ABS, not counting the bags and accessories, is 414 pounds. Okay. The Rebel 1100, almost 100 pounds more. It's 509 pounds mm. with the DCT. The manual's a little bit less, 487 pounds, soaking wet, no accessories. But that's that's a big weight difference. Well, hop on each bike. Well, do you feel? I, the weight I don't difference? really feel the different. Um, I think the Rebel Five Hundred has. I think they have like plus and minus. I like Five Hundred. Okay, very predictable. Wait, before you put it down. Yeah. <clears throat> before you put it down, put a leg up on the peg, and just to see. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to okay. do the other weight. Yeah. And then check this, check out the 1100. Oop. Oh yeah, you're right. You can feel it. You can feel the height. After moving from the 500, I you know, feel yeah. the weight. You feel the weight. Put but the, your position, very you similar. Put a foot up on the peg? Yeah, yeah. A little bit heavier. Not a little bit, maybe a little bit more. Almost 100 pounds heavier. This is yeah. 509 pounds, 440. Is it me or felt like the handlebar is higher, or maybe because they're they're, it's... they're wider. They are oh, wider. Oh, I see. And okay. they they could be. We'll put the specs up. Yeah. They could be. It felt like wider. Yeah, you're right. They, they're definitely wider. All around bigger. Yeah. It's just it's just it's a huskier bike. It does. But it has the same look as the Rebel. It's 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 a little bit heavier, but it doesn't feel heavy though. 
No, no, no right? it doesn't no. feel heavy. But you no. definitely notice a weight. Mm -hmm. When you move from the 500 to the 1100, you definitely notice That's that true. weight. That's true, yeah. I mean, the look yeah. on your face was great. It was priceless. <laughs> yeah, and you could, as, as a, as a um, driver, you could see the, uh, the different of the tank too. It just, it's just a lot bigger when you're like, you're it's looking at It's a bulb tank. Yeah, yeah. Like this versus the peanut tank. Or it's about of the closer to, to, uh, is it shorter? You is know, I thought that initially and I kept getting on this bike and on that bike. I think they're about the same. The same? Okay. But, but anybody that's looking at these bikes know that it's pretty compact between the handlebars and the seat yeah. and the pegs. Because the pegs sit up pretty high and it gives, it allows it to lean because mm -hmm. it, it sits up pretty high. And these are nimble bikes. Yeah. They're very nimble bikes for what they are. Um, but just know that it's pretty compact in this space mm -hmm. where some of your cruisers are spread out, you're reaching, you're, this is pretty compact. Both of these so, bikes. So this, this one standard doesn't come with the passenger seat? Like I noticed. No, one. this one doesn't either. So oh, it neither, was an bike, okay. neither bike comes with bags or seats. Oh, or I see. Any, I mean, any passenger seats. Mm -hmm. And this is a stock pipe and this is a stock pipe. Let's, let's start up the 500 and we'll come back to the we'll 500. Start with don't we, should no, we shouldn't start with this one no okay we'll finish with that one all right <laughs> there's a reason <laughs> all right there's a reason it's rebel 500. so the key's on the side come on rebel side. 500 is it in neutral <laughs> yep oh and it just it purrs yeah the 500 purrs that's a stock exhaust Hold it on a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now to the 1100. Let's hear it purr, huh? Ready? What do you think? It's good, different. It's a little bit heavier. Um, it's yep. more like traditional um, cruiser. It's, um, it's got that deeper, mm -hmm. huskier sound to it I'm, on the 1100 I'm, I'm curious, is it, versus the smoothness of the 500. I'm curious how the sound different from the automatic with the manual 1100. Is it the same sound? Ooh, I, they're both combustion engines. Okay. It's just, so it should be the same? It should be. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a walk around. This is the 500. The Rebel 1100. And Cutter in the way there. Cutter's in the picture. My old 14-year-old cattle dog. Still hanging in there and springs off to the side of him. Yeah, the back, you could see the different of the width. The color is the red, it's just really nice. It is pretty. Eleven hundred and the five hundred. You get to see the headlights. Time to saddle up and take the bikes out for a test ride.
Holy crap, you can't catch that. Ooh, Ninja, what do you think? So pretty. Isn't oh wow, the colors looks really different from the from the picture. I know, oh right? Oh my god, it's really beautiful. I don't think it's even red. What is that? Well, it's a, it's like a it's a wine color. That's what the Bordeaux oh, uh, red is. It's a wine color. I think even it's a little bit slanted, huh? Oh, it's pretty. It's gorgeous. Very, very pretty. Like it. It is a pretty bike. Everything about it seems a lot um, bigger. <sighs> you can get a legit first impressions comparing, as we compare, the Rebel 1100 to the Rebel 500. It's so weird. There's no clutch. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta say, it's. I was surprised. It's, it's pretty different design, I think. Right? Okay, the, hop the, off. We don't want to ruin oh, them all here. All right. But this is a true first impression. <laughs> oh, I like the color. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, ride safe and keep those horses moving.